many of you know the struggle is real? How many of you know? You know what, Bishop? My struggle is real, whether it's financial and inflation, whether it's meeting uh, the bills that need to be paid. I have more month than money. Whether it's I've fallen off and just fallen away from my walk with the Lord and, and I know it. Whether it's a family issue, whether it's a physical thing, whether it's your professional career. How many of you know the struggle the struggle is real. Good morning, everybody. How are you on this morning? Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Brenda. How are you all on this morning? Good morning, Betty. How are you on this morning? Grand morning to you. Good morning, Pamela. Got a word for you on this morning. I want you to put it in the chat area. You know what? You know, we always say it when we're in church, say this to your neighbor, say that to your neighbor, Angela. Well, this is what I want you to say. Put it in the chat area. The struggle, the struggle is real. It's real. Good morning, Phoenicia. How are you on this morning? Tally, Tally, Joya, how are you all on this morning? Man, got a word for you on this morning. This week, this week, we're going to drill down deep in the life of Paul. We're going to drill down deep in the life of Paul. On yesterday, on yesterday, I, I talked about uh, Paul and uh, I came from 2 Corinthians 6, 4, and 5. 2 Corinthians 6, 4, and 5. And I, I talked about how the power of God, the weapons of, uh, of righteousness is what we use in the patience. Looking at my notes from yesterday, uh, patience in Holy Spirit is what gets us through in terms of our struggle. Well, this morning, I want to drill down even deeper. And all week, we're going to be dealing with Paul because when I look through the scriptures, absent Christ, and maybe a couple of other folk in the Old Testament, Paul is the guy that really tells us how to deal with the struggle. Put in the chat area, the struggle is real. The text to talk to take away five minutes or less, let's get to it. The text this morning is 1 Corinthians 11.23b. 1 Corinthians 11.23b. And here's what it says. I have worked much harder, been in prison, more frequently, been flogged more severely, been exposed to death again and again. That's, that's 2 Corinthians, I'm sorry, 11.23. I have worked much harder, been in prison more frequently, been flogged more severely, been exposed to death again and again. Paul is saying, my struggle, my struggle is real. My struggle is real. Three things I want to share with you about Paul's struggle. The first thing that I notice is in the text, Paul acknowledges his struggle. He doesn't shrink from it. He doesn't say it wasn't there. He doesn't spiritualize it. He doesn't push back on it. He doesn't say, oh, this, that, or the other. He literally says that. He says clearly, he says it, my struggle is real. My struggle is is real and I acknowledge that and you can't you cannot make it through something if you don't acknowledge it here's the second thing that I want you to get the second thing I want you to get is this Paul uses his struggle to make it he uses his struggle to make it he says you know what when you are going through when you're going through that you have to know that your labor is not in vain. The work that you're going through is not in vain. The third thing I want you to grab is this. He posts about his struggle. Oh yeah. He said, well, wait a minute. They didn't have social media then. Well, look, this is what Paul is doing. He writes a letter to the church at Corinth and he tells them, he posts about it. He says, look, I want you to hear this. I've worked much harder. I've been in prison more frequently. I've been beaten more severely and I've been exposed to death again and I'm posting and you need to know that. Why is that why is that a big deal? Here is the reason why. Here's the takeaway. It's not bragging to talk about your grind when you're grinding. It's not bragging 
to talk about your grind when you're grinding. <laughs> Share this. Don't keep it to yourself. The Lord be with you. His face shine upon you. Keep and keep you in perfect peace. We're going to talk about Paul more this week as we deal with the fact, how do we work through the various difficulties in life that we have to deal with? God bless you. Share the matter. Don't keep it to yourself. Bye now.